is Matt here and I want to talk to you quickly about a topic that can help you energize your Christian walk and just give you more of a purpose for living and more meaning for life and that is living out hallelujah. Now the term hallelujah you don't hear a lot except in the Christian circle but there's a reason for that. It's mentioned in the Bible many times and there's something about the word hallelujah that gives a sense of joy and um, excitement and anticipation. Hallelujah. You don't hear a lot of people say that except the Christian circle. Hallelujah. And I've noticed a trend lately, often in myself and even in others, of living this defeated life where we live with almost the same sense of hopelessness or kind of anxiety or stress or... Um, paralysis or not really knowing what to do as a non-believer. And this simply is not what Christ called us to do. In the uh, Sermon on the Mount, Christ says you're the salt of the earth in a city set high up on a hill. By that he's saying we've got to be different. Yeah, people can hear the message of church, but if they're really going to hear the message of Christ and the fact that he came that we may have life and have it more abundantly, it's going to come from our everyday life. You're only in church a short period. But if you walk around with a smile on your face and you're extra giving and you, you lend an ear to hear and you're there for people and you're meeting the needs of the poor and the needy, you're encouraging each other, that's what's going to separate the people who follow Christ versus the ones that do not. So the title, Living Out Hallelujah. I'm going to give you three steps that can help you live out hallelujah. The first one is find your foundation. Over in Matthew, I think, chapter 7, it talks about the wise man built his house upon the rock. Build your foundation on God's word and the promises in this book. That's the best advice I can ever give you. Build your foundation for your personal life, for your marriage, for your walk with the Lord, for your friendships, for your job, for your everything. Build on the proper foundation because when the floods came, the man who built his house in the sand, everything was washed away. But the man who built his house in the rock, it stood strong. No matter what obstacles, no matter what weather came forward, the house that stood on the rock is going to stand. So step one is build your house on a solid foundation. Step two to living out hallelujah would be weed your garden. You say, what do you mean by weed your garden? As Christians, we've got to get rid of the things that are bogging us down. If you've got something, whether it's a bad relationship um, that's leading to a lot of gossip, somebody that's just weighing you down, constantly negative, yeah, you can minister to them and you can, you can help them out. But at some point, you've got to weed out that garden because the weeds will suck the nutrients from the true plant you're trying to grow and rob you of a blessing that God's trying to do for you. So weed your garden and allow the blessings of God to flow through you and then out of that you can be a blessing to others. So weed your garden, take out, it might be time wasters, uh, Facebook or just internet surfing or um, maybe some kind of TV shows or just something that you're doing on the weekends or um, it might be killing time at, at your job when you should be home with your family or just chasing money or just a number of things. Weed your garden, eliminate those things that not going to mean a hill of beans in eternity and, and watch the nutrients start flowing through you and God will start using you in ways you didn't, couldn't imagine. So first you're going to build your build on a solid foundation, the rock, which is God's word. Second, weed your garden. The third and final thing to live out hallelujah is live your life facing forward. The apostle Paul referred to this Christian walk as a race. He said, I'm going to run the race. I'm going to fight the fight. We have to, as Christians, live with a sense of hope and direction that pushes us to what we're supposed to be doing for God. Too many times with myself, I'll find out find that I'm reading the Bible and I'm, I'm praying and I'm, I'm concentrating on what all I shouldn't do. And that's a, um, I say paralysis by analysis. You're sitting there waiting for God to hopefully not condemn you on all the things you're doing wrong. Or, and that is a defeated Christian life that has no influence. Go out today and purpose that you're going to live a life facing forward. Forget your past. If you've wronged someone, go tell them you, you want to apologize. 
they don't forgive you, you've done the right thing. If you've um, spent your money wrong, if you've, uh, again, just had bad relationships, whatever it may be, put the past behind you and search for that higher calling. Point the, Take up your cross. Point to Jesus and run that race. Run towards Him like only a Christian can do. And don't let the things of this world, the distractions, your negative, your flaws, uh, different things, financial stress, relationship stress, looking for that job, don't let these things bog you down. Live your life facing forward, running that race, because Paul says to live, to live is Christ, but to die is gain. It's only going to get better when you've accepted Christ as your Savior to live inside your heart. You have a hope that can't nothing in this world, absolutely nothing, can even come close to matching. So three things to living out, hallelujah. Find your foundation, which is building building every one of your decisions, everything on the rock here, God's word. Weed out your garden, which is eliminating distractions and things that are keeping you from a closer walk to God. And third and final, live facing forward. Press towards that mark, run that race, as Paul said, knowing heaven is just around the corner. If you guys got any questions or comments, shoot me a message. And remember my favorite Bible verse, John 10, 10, says Christ came, we may have life and have it more abundantly. Let that set in for you today. Love you guys. Have a great day. God bless you.